strong enough. If you can't bring down the charging bull and don't wave the red cape at it, you were sent here for a reason. And even if it takes you the rest of your life, find out what that reason is. said the age of heroes will never come again. It will. It has to. We live in a society where honor is a distant memory. Isn't that right? Batman. Welcome back to Access Blockbusters. We just got a new trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League, and this is my first reaction to what we saw. So for those of you who have been watching the channel, it may not be a surprise to say that I'm not ridiculously excited for the Snyder Cut. I know, controversial, but there it is. And by the way, guys, if you want to bash somebody about their opinions, about their subjective opinions that are not based in fact, are completely subjective, then, well... I mean, go ahead, but they are just opinions, and they are just my own opinions, so might want to reconsider the fact when you tell someone they're wrong for not being excited for something. That's besides the point. The job of a trailer is to make you more excited for an upcoming project, TV show, or film. It really has one job, just to make you more excited. So did this new trailer make me more excited for the Justice League Snyder Cut? Yep, it did. Absolutely it did. By a ton? No. Absolutely not, but it made me more excited, so it did its job. Again, though, I want to stress, not by much. There are still a lot of things in here that make me pause and go, I'm just still not quite sure about this, but we'll talk about that in just a little bit. The sense that I got from this trailer, and again, this is a first reaction, not a breakdown, so I'm just going to be touching on little things here and there that I saw. The sense that I got from the trailer is, it feels like two different movies or films, I guess. One of which is a beautifully shot just action superhero film, right? You got Ben Affleck's Batman, Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman, all the cyborg, Flash, all that sort of stuff. Superman looks great. The other half looks like a beautifully shot video game, which, you know, can work, I guess. Transformers movies, I suppose, but it doesn't look consistent. So I've been saying that Darkseid, I didn't like the design from the original teaser trailer, and I didn't. And when I saw him in this trailer, I thought, okay, looks better. Looks better. Definitely looks better. However, I'm still not on board with Steppenwolf's redesign. Guys, he he still just looks like a video game character to me. Which, okay, you know, if you're into that, that's cool, but I personally am still not a big fan of that design. But again, you know, for what it's worth, each different half looks beautiful in its own right, so there is that. And another thing that kind of caught my attention is, guys, you know that a lot of the footage in this trailer, not a lot, maybe let's say about half of the footage in this trailer was from the original Justice League. It's not like this is a completely different film, right? Like, the same general structure of the film exists. There's going to be a fight in the underground sewer of Gotham City. There's going to be a Superman revival scene. There's going to be a fight with Steppenwolf at the end that looks pretty similar if not more slow motionified, I guess. So, you know, me not loving the original Justice League and seeing all the same stuff like Steppenwolf's attack on Atlantis, it's still there, Mera's still gonna be there, just gives me some pause. You know, I'm not 
terribly unexcited, is that a word? But it just doesn't really make me feel extra excited. But still, some of the shots are really cool. And yes, let's talk about the ending really quick before we end this video. Joker. Thank you, thank you, thank you for changing the voice. Because I was rewatching some Suicide Squad clips just to refresh my memory on what Joker was like in that film. And the voice was just did not work for me. And so I'm glad, having seen the little things recently, that this is more of just Jared Leto's natural voice. Because that can be creepy in itself. I think the look works. I think the demeanor from those two seconds of footage works. I think this Joker works. Again, though, like I touched upon previously on this channel, am I excited or glad that Zack Snyder added extra footage? Like, Joker was never supposed to be in Justice League. No, I think that is a bad precedent to set, but am I glad that this Joker looks better? Absolutely. And that's about it. I thought the trailer was good, not great. Didn't have to be great. I'm gonna watch the Snyder Cut. By the way, guys, though, serious question. I get artistic integrity and all that sort of stuff, but just by a show of hands, how many of you would rather have had every week for four weeks be an hour of Justice League versus four straight hours at once of Justice League. I don't understand the rationale behind this. It's like, who has time during the week, it's being released on a Thursday, I think, to just sit down and watch four hours of anything? And look at, you know, not to compare Marvel and DC, but look at WandaVision or The Mandalorian. Every week, everybody's talking about the new episode and the conversation continues. Guys, Justice League Snyder Cut is going to die, the conversation, in about two weeks. Which is unfortunate if it's really good, because it can be really good. So anyways, I just want, I'm just curious to know. But that's, that's my thoughts on the new trailer for Justice League. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really does mean the world to me. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so. And I'll see you in the next one.